Hello and welcome to the Fulda RV event in Germany. Oh, can you hear that wind? I think that it's going, that the weather's going to change. Look at that. I mean, it's lovely and sunny at the moment, but it's uh, definitely going to be a bit of a storm. Anyway, never mind that. Uh, this is the Foster 745 EF. NB motorhome. This motorhome is, uh, let's have a look inside first. <laughs> Looking for this at around 75,000 euros. And you know, Foster came out as a, a cheaper brand of the Trigano group, but uh, I appreciate, you know, prices have really gone up a lot, and uh, it's not the fault of the. Um, uh, of the dealers it's just what's happening right now on the market so uh, everybody wants to get a motorhome it seems and then the supply difficulties for them anyway so we've got here this uh, this German layout at the back and I'm just going to lift up this here because I want to show you inside here you've got this a marvelous uh, large wardrobe through there you can also get through with the door down there if you want to and let's have a look on the other side as well see this one here also comes up and down there we've got all of this space as well this isn't as deep uh, because under this we've got the boiler at the back we will find storage at the back and we've got these corner bits point of which i can't see at all uh, Anyway, so I'll put this back down again, if it'll go. Trying to be very careful not to break anything. And there it goes down like that. Now, um, you can close off the uh, rear of the, the bedroom from the front. You may say, what's the point of that? Well, I have a friend and she travels by herself and uh, she always says she always closes it off. So here, uh, what we're going to do here, I'm just going to show you, this is a cloth divider. And I really, personally, this is me, I mean, not everybody's the same as me, but uh, I much would rather have a cloth divider like that than a, and it's, also, it's also a place to catch on to down there. Uh, I'll leave it as this for the moment because I want to demonstrate uh, the than a wood, wooden one. First of all, this is light. Uh, it's a plastic end. Uh, it's light, and uh, it does the job. You know, it keeps keeps the light out, and you can't see uh, what's going on up front, or what the point. Those up front can't see what's going on at the back. So it's got those good points. But the really big point, I think, is now, if you buy a van today and it's got a solid divider, well, it's not going to make a noise. But give it a few years and driving down the roads in Italy and it's going to be giving a, making a lot of racket. It's going to be bang, 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 bang. And uh, these things rattle with age a lot less so you've been warned all right in the shower well uh, okay it's a it's a comparatively cheap van but um it's a cute like that shower actually quite honest at all i'd like i'd like to see a bigger ledge down here and i'd like to see two domestic sized uh drainage holes we'll close this one off here and see what we can get in here and in here we've got the toilet and a sink. Got a space at the top there as well. And uh, well, that's obviously there because of, because of a little bit like this. It's also a bit of a space under the door. That's not a mistake. It's meant to be like that. Uh, right. Uh, in here, we've got a uh, got the sink. Got two burners which I personally think is sufficient, but then again, um, some people don't, but I think it is. And uh, pull out bits here. Drawers, a drawer within a drawer. And more storage under here as well. So there's the gas. 
Oh, that's good. And right, so, and now here is the, uh, I've got these face to face, to use the German expression, uh, up here. Now, what will happen here is that the seats here will convert, to not to being face to face, but to go forwards in the direction of traffic. You see that there is a seat belt is here and the seat belt is down there. So what happens is the following. Let's just see if I can do a quick demonstration. This comes out, this will come out and we make, we insert the uh, back to the uh, place down there to, there's, um, what do you call it? Place to put the, the stalk for the, uh, to the chair down there. And this part here will come away. Here's one somebody had a go at doing earlier. And uh, that will put you in the uh, direction of traffic. I think it's a bit of a palaver doing all of that, but I think that there are reasons, safety reasons, and now perhaps even legislative reasons for doing that. So you have to be pointing that direction if you're traveling. So that uh, is uh, one of the potential downsides of a face-to-face -face layout in a motorhome. Um, now, one of the advantages is, of course, that you're sort of sitting facing each other and you've got uh, a lot of space. For me personally, uh, I like to have the table against the wall, but then again, I'm using the table for work purposes. And uh, and so I've got all my, my computer and my, my, my hard disks and things, which are uh, towards the wall. And uh, I feel it better having them there for safety reasons. Also, I'm a bit of a mess and have a pile of stuff that uh, collects in the corner. Anyway, that's just me. Uh, not everybody's the same, but I just make that as a point. This comes with the Truma air conditioning system, and that brings me nicely onto the question of how much all of this costs. I can't remember if I said, I didn't say the length, did I? 745 by 235 by 295 in height. Uh, we've got a price there, 74,000. And uh, so the uh, Comfort Line, that's an extra package of extras uh, for the vehicle. Winter packet, 1,310. So that would be things like insulated um, a wastewater tank. And uh, so this has been put onto a 4.4 ton basis. Uh, so, I mean, it can be in a 3.5 tons. So, so everybody's driving license, but for people like me who have a driving license before 1996, all those who have done the extra test, then uh, 4.4 will do. It's got alu hubs, it's got a 90 litre fuel tank. It's got, and this is an odd thing here, it's got the, uh, the charging on top for a, um, uh, presumably a better, um, habitation uh, b battery and the this is for the uh, upholstery for the driver and passenger seats and this is paperwork and delivery and things so that's uh, that's the extra cost I wish I knew more about what the comfort line RM is uh, but I can't actually I can't say I didn't notice the air conditioning though in the extras Maybe that is part of the comfort line. Mind you, 3,000 euros, that's quite a cheap aircon. That's part of a packet. Right, so you see it's got a big door round here. So there's a lot of space in the garage. A lot of space there. And so there you go. There's a quick look at this uh, this vehicle. Oh, there's a lady there, can whistle very strongly. <laughs> so anyway, I've just come out now and you see there's no more wind around. Well, it's a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was. I thought, I thought the, the storm was about to break. Yeah, I'll just show you around whilst I'm here. Uh, what else we've got here? So here there's a, uh, a Foster 
um, integrated motorhome and uh, Right, so this, this is Eudomobile, this is, now this is all part of the same group, if you like, whereas Foster's meant to be a cheaper brand, right, cheaper, I don't know, it's 80,000, now this thing is going to cost over 100,000, but anyway, cheaper, it's a relative, um, but these vehicles here are superb in my opinion, I really like this, this is called a Contura, it's on, it comes on a Fiat or on a Mercedes, and, oh, to my way of think, I think I think it's an underestimated, undervalued uh, vehicle. I think it's really uh, the way it looks and uh, outstanding. Anyway, you can see that in a different uh, video. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll take you for a little walk around and we'll have a look what else is here. Oh, now see this, these here, we've got a outdoor, it's just the gentleman who owns this company. Uh, we've got here this, uh, this, this burner. I really fancy this thing, yeah. This, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking, 159 euros, but I'm still thinking about it. And, uh, so, so, uh, most motorhome manufacturers have a, have a, 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 a br um, a full range from camper vans. These are Foster camper van. Uh, meet me means rent me. And uh, and perhaps you can uh, get an idea of the environment where we are. So this this area of Germany, you see the the hills in the background. And uh, I I think as a person who's travelled quite extensively in Germany, I really think, I think it's a great place to travel around and I think some, there's some really wonderful, the nature I think is quite outstanding um, and uh, I know for you, those of you watching the United States, and oh, it's not as good as you are yeah, no, the United States is the best country in the world for travelling around this fantastic um, scenery but, uh, but anyway Huh? I'm in Europe. <laughs> in fact, you know, just about everywhere is great to travel around. And I can't make me. I'm being a bit uh, unfair with uh, my comments there. And uh, also got some, uh, you know, got equipment to see here as well. And uh, this uh, Hunacop has come some really brilliant stuff. See, there's a there's a window there. Um, which this was introduced ooh, 2017 and uh, I mean, somebody actually called me and <laughs> me up so you've got to see you've got to see this glass here and they're trying to smash it and uh, it's a safe, safety glass incredible there's a place where I, uh, close to where I lived in Israel uh, where there was a, um, a kibbutz which had been turned over and making safety glass and so they shoot at it I don't know if you can actually shoot at that and it doesn't break but uh, anyway uh, bullet bulletproof Good. Anyway, so here we have the here we have the entrance. Now, uh, for those interested, this event is the first one this year, but uh, it will uh, be held in the third week of September, which is quite convenient for me uh, because I go to Dusseldorf, and ten days later we've got this event, and that within ten in the ten day period I can have a. Uh, film around because I'll do some vehicles in uh, Germany and so in the um, okay. and also I can visit uh, around close here so areas this is called Rhön but uh, area which is an area of natural beauty but next to that is Vergelsberg also an area of natural beauty good right so just thought I'd take you around there some additional things always like to explain what you can do when you've got a motorhome so thanks for being with me thanks for watching this and uh, sticking up with that little uh, ex the extras all the extras i put into that video which uh, weren't meant to be in here when i planned this but for the moment from me in germany thanks for being here and all the best from me